Well, we did mention the strict new international travel regulations and uh, one of our rugby league sons has made a really tough decision to stay over in London. Uh, he is the reigning Super League man of steel, Jackson Hastings. Uh, good morning to you from Australia, Jackson. I mean, it's been a really terrible time and you find yourself on the opposite side of the world, uh, you know, isolated away from family and friends. How are you holding up? Hey, how you going? Um, yeah, it's obviously a challenging period at the moment. Um, we were still training up to a day ago and um, Lenny called me into his office and, and gave me the all good to go home. And then um, speaking to a few people that I trust and, and love, they probably said that it was a good idea to sort of stay put here. Um, obviously, when you travel back, you'd be in quarantine and um, I'd be in a house with my mum and my two sisters and um, the risk of giving it to one of them if I was to get it travelling who would then be in contact with my um, grandfather who just turned 80 today. Mm. Um, he's obviously in the high risk bracket. So I just made a tough decision to obviously put that to the side, stay in England until it's safe to go home, really. What about the competition? I mean, there's been a lot going on over here, Jackson, uh, in terms of the, the game coming to a halt, uh, uncertainty for players in terms of when it may resume and, and what it looks like now in that period while they're off. Have you guys got any indication yet from the Super League of when you guys may return and... And how is it day to day over there? Yeah, it's all of the minimum, mate. As I said, we trained up to um, yesterday and, and sort of uh, Lammy addressed us and, and give us two weeks off. But the Super League had a meeting today, all the CEOs, and um, there was a media release this afternoon. We were meant to sort of try and commence um, in April at some point, but they pretty much said that that won't go ahead. And um, the word on the street sort of um, they're trying to target a three month period to return to play. But um, that meeting today was sort of um, trying to figure out the best possible way of getting us back on the field, but also keeping the players uh, partners and, and obviously everyone else safe. So at this point in time, mate, um, no one's really clear on what's going on. Um, if you look on social media, um, everyone in the league over here is at home um, doing all sorts of stuff. Obviously the country's in lockdown as of last night. We're literally, allowed to leave to go to the shops for necessity stuff and and go on pretty much a walk. So if you want to get anything done in terms of rugby league wise, you've, you're out of luck. You only, you only get one time to leave the house. So uh, everyone's just trying to make the most of that, um, stay inside, do the right thing. And, and the more we do that, the quicker hopefully this virus goes away. Jackson, we're seeing some incredible... I mean, you're obviously doing the right thing. You're in your apartment or your home <laughs> and it would be a pretty isolating experience, but we're just seeing some extraordinary images of the tube where people are still packed in like sardines. What is what is the message? Is it not getting through there? Do Londoners not care? I mean, what what is the general attitude of the UK citizens given how dire the situation is? Yeah, I think people do care. It's obviously hard because... Uh, Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister over here, he, he made obviously a public announce, announcement sorry, last night and, and certain people are allowed to go to work in, in particular jobs and I see a lot of stuff on Twitter and Facebook about people that are obviously helping out in the NHS health system and things like that that need to go to work to obviously save people's lives and, and continue to fight the disease but there's obviously people that are getting on that tube and stuff that aren't working or doing the right things or, or things like that so People like that are making it hard for the people that do need to go to work and actually help out. Um, it is frustrating when you see it because obviously me being Australian, I'd love to go home and, and be with my family. But at the same time, you've got to take the right steps in obviously me avoiding it and then passing it on. So to see people be a bit careless is a bit annoying. But at the end of the day, um, we are locked down. And if you're not abiding by the rules, the police are able to enforce them too. So... I dare say uh, it's going to be very strict in the next coming days to get on a tube or public transport because um, where I am at the minute, there's police everywhere sort of telling people that they need to go home or um, just watching what they're doing. So, yeah, it's very strict at the minute. Jackson, it's Matthew Johns here. I just want to take the opportunity to congratulate you, mate, because on a more positive note, the move to England to the Super League has just been a great one for you. Um, last year, you know, you took a, a club that is traditionally a struggling club, Salford, to the grand final. As Vonnie said, you got, you got Man of Steel and you moved to Wigan. It's, mate, you're killing them. You're going fantastic. You must be very, very happy. Oh, thanks, mate. appreciate that, mate. Um, yeah, you know, I was obviously at a, a weird stage in my life where I made a lot of wrong decisions. Um, I probably put a lot of things before rugby league and, and sort of 
hoped or relied on my natural ability, ability sorry that I had as a kid to drag me through and as you two boys know that that doesn't happen in the NRL and then on the back of that made stupid decisions that I, that I obviously fully regret and um, pretty much got told by every club in the NRL that I wasn't wanted and, and was no chance of getting a top 30 spot so I was pretty much go overseas and as you said, mate, it's been a blessing in disguise. Um, I've pretty much reshaped the way I want to be known as a person, not only as a player. Um, in the NRL, I sort of become a bit of a robot. I was just a passer, um, hardly kicked, just got people around the park and, and just expected my teammates to do everything. Whereas, obviously, come to Salford, that, as you touched on, haven't had too much success in the past and, and pretty much got told to run the show. Um, Ian Watson, the coach here. Um, at Salford, sorry, um, put a lot of faith in me, um, told me to run the ball, brought up clips of me as a kid, was really diligent with me, um, spent hours on video and, and just believed in me. And mm. on the back of that, my teammates believed in me, City believed in me, and um, we we're 80 minutes away from doing the unthinkable, mate. So mm. to be able to achieve what I have in the in the last year has been incredible, mate. But Yeah, um, it's good. And don't beat yourself yeah. up too much about... Yeah, doing silly things. Don't worry. You haven't got a mortgage on that. We all do silly things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could see that connection uh, with, with your previous coach here at Salford in uh, that post game when you played them the other day. I, I saw that that interview together. Um, talk to us about, you know, the, the future, what that looks like for Jackson Hastings. Do you want to come back and play in the NRL after the success you've had over there? I saw over the summer uh, following your, your Man of Steel award that you got some interest from some English rugby that said may interest you at some stage. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. At the moment, Mick, obviously, I've got a two-year deal at Wigan, um, sort of well-publicised get-out clause if an NRL club um, does come in. My biggest thing when I come over was to hurry back and I wanted to prove everyone everyone were wrong, sorry, without even achieving anything here. And on the back of what I've been able to do, obviously, a few people have been in contact with my management and stuff. But the big thing for me, mate, is going to a club where... I'm going to help them and they're going to help me as opposed to just going back to the sake of it. Yeah. I don't want to go back and, and be a role player and, and just be in the same situa situation I was yep. at this stage of my life and, and my maturity now as a rugby league player itself, I'm way better player than what I was. I'm, I'm at a much higher stage of rugby league than where I was when I first was over there. So if the opportunity does arise and it's the right club, I'll definitely take it. I think um, it's definitely something I want to do. The NRL is the pinnacle. Um, it's a competition that I didn't get to prove myself in. I don't think I didn't. No one saw the best of Jackson Hastings, whereas over here people sort of get to see that. So, at the end of the day, um, I've got to honour my contract. But at the same time, if the right club comes in and and it sort of fits, I'll be silly not to look at it. Speaking of silly things, are we TikToking in isolation? Are we are we watching Netflix? What's what's happening? <laughs> Oh, mate, I can't dance. I've got no rhythm, so TikTok got an option. Oh, mate, I've done, about, I've done about 400 shoulder presses today with 10 kilo dumbbells. It's, honestly, it's Me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been up nice and early just to give you burpees. <laughs> there's, nothing, there's nothing to do, mate. Like, you, you, you drive to go get, I don't know, a carton of milk and... There's one car on the road. Usually you can't get from, from A to B in, in 20 minutes. So it's a really odd situation that we find ourselves in. It's going to be hard. It's for three weeks. It's day one today. So um, if you've got any suggestions on what to watch, Mick, um, send them through, mate, and I'll give them a watch. <laughs> well, Jackson Hastings, thank you so much. It's really great to see uh, the growth of you, not just as a rugby league player, but as a young man. And uh, it's by the sounds of it, there's a bit of unfinished business and we'd love to see you home in the NRL at some point. But in the in meantime, keep killing it in the Super League and um, all the best. I know it's been a really tough decision to stay away from your family and friends. Yeah. Appreciate it, guys. Um, enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks, Thanks mate. Jackson, Jackson, well done, mate. What a terrific. And it is, you made a really good point. Some players go 